How y'all doing tonight? Tonight we're going to cook a wonderful fillet of sockeye salmon. I'm going to show you what we got down here. Beautiful looking piece of fish. We're going to use this more of this Dizzy Pig rub. And this is Raging River rub by Dizzy Pig. It's supposed to be great for salmon or any kind of fish. It's also good on uh, poultry. But they say you could use it on pork too. But this is especially good for salmon. I've read a lot of really good reviews about this for salmon, so we're just going to sprinkle the salmon down with the Raging River Dizzy Pig Rub, and we'll just let it sit here and cure for a minute while we get our fire started outside. But I think this will be wonderful, y'all. It'll be real good. Got this nice and sprinkled on. I'm going to go sit in the refrigerator while we get the fire going. All right, y'all, let's get the grill ready or the smoke ready for the fish out here. Uh, I'm using some of this, uh, man, I found this really good charcoal now, this Royal Oak, it's the rigid charcoal briquettes, man, these things are supposed to burn great, a lot better than other stuff I've been using, so we're going to give these a try today, let me go ahead and load up the chimney, I think I'm going to use about a, a half a load, I mean, a full chimney, about three quarters of the chimney today, let's do it. Alright, so what we're going to do is, uh, let's see, take this, uh, rigid charcoal here. See how that looks, how it has all those ridges cut in, and it's supposed to help it burn more evenly and stuff like that. That's pretty cool. So, I'll slip back over here at the kettle, show y'all what we're going to do. Pour all that out. It'll take me about 10 or so out the middle there. That little hole will light these other pieces. All right, y'all, I'm about to go ahead and get the fire started here. You see, I got my stuff in a little ring there, that royal oak with the ridges on it. Let's pour about 10 lit coals in here in the center. That'll be good right there. We'll just let that get going for a minute. So we're going to add a few uh, little chunks of wood here. That's going on like that there. Mm, too much. Something like that. Go ahead and add the barbecue stack of Cajun Bang. Get it up. Get the lid. Just kind of let everything heat up here for a few minutes. I'm gonna go get the fish. Now that the uh, smokers had a chance to heat up for a few minutes, I put my salmon on one of these fish trays here. I just like to do it that way, better than putting it on a grill. Perfect fit. Go ahead and put this lid back on. Let this sucker run out here. I'll check in about 15 minutes or something. No, no need in checking temperatures or nothing. I mean, it's just fish. We're not slow smoking or anything really. So what we're going to do is let it go for about 15 minutes. Vents open. It should run about 300 and something degrees. We'll come out here and check it. About 15 minutes or so has passed. We'll just take a peek and see how it's doing. Oh yeah, look at that. That's nice. Dead fish. Everything's bubbling up to the top just like it should. Firing up a little bit. It's it won't, it won't be long, y'all. Go ahead and let it let it go for a few more minutes. That's good there. My chance just been a couple more minutes and the fish is ready. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I'm gonna go ahead and get it off the right side. Look at that beautiful piece of salmon. So I got this wonderful salmon here. Like I said, we put this Dizzy Pig Raging River rub on here. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try, y'all. Try to cut a little piece off here, I guess. Oh yeah, look at that. That is something else, I'm telling you. You can lift that right up off the skin. Just like that. Look at that beautiful little piece of salmon. Give it a taste. Alright, you go. Alright. Oh, wow. 
Wow. Look at that. Taste that. See what we got going on here. We did Dizzy Pig, Raging River, Smoked Salmon. Oh, man. That is fantastic. So good, y'all. <laughs> y'all, what? This Dizzy Pig on this sockeye wild caught salmon is seasoned perfectly. Not too much spice. Let's the fish come through and look at that beautiful flaky fish there. With just enough seasoning on it, y'all. This is A1 stuff. Need to give this a try. Oh man, this is great on fish. I tell you what, really lets the wonderful wild flavor come through with the fish, but also gives it that perfect little bit of seasoning. Mm mm mm. Mm mm mm. Like I said, if, if you ask me, what seasonings I feel coming through here. You can taste a sweet, it's like a sweet maple almost. Then you have a little citrus note on there well too, like some lemon or something like that. So it's really, really nice. Great little, little way to season up some salmon, y'all.